that which salah will Allah Ta'ala accept, which is the greatest salah. So the reply came, Allah's dhikr, the dhikr of Allah. Say it again, Subhanallah. Yes, Sahaba Ikram, silent. Yeah. Okay, tell us please, that which fast is the greatest? The answer came, the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. Oh, is it? Then they asked again, the which struggle is the greatest struggle? Then the answer came, the dhikr of Allah, subhanallah. Praise be to subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah illa deen. So what we realize is that Allah Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has given us the total direction. Total direction. Clearly He's told us. Whichever amal you do, salah, fasting, hajj, zakah, whichever deed you implement, that deed in Allah's, uh, close to Allah will be accepted if you do that deed in parallel, along with alongside the dhikr of Allah. Or the other meaning, let me make it easy for you, that the people who do the dhikr of Allah, all their deeds get accepted. Subhanallah. This is the hadith. Allah's dhikr, when a person remembers Allah, all his deeds become accepted. Amal become accepted. That's why we read this in Fadail. That the dhikr of Allah, the people who do the dhikr of Allah, who remember Allah, they will walk into paradise laughing. Smiling, why would they be laughing? No hisab, no accounting, no reckoning, no difficulty, no giving, taking, clear hisab, with ease. Just like a person goes home smiling in the same way. Everything, for example, Allah Ta'ala, whatever He promised, if you keep on doing dhikr, alongside dhikr, whichever amal you do, inshallah, Allah says, I will accept your deeds, I will accept them. Do you understand what I'm saying or you don't understand? This hadith. What a great personality. He said, brothers, what we realize is very clear from this hadith, that what is the maqam, the status of dhikr? Dhikr is a great action. He stated the maqam, the status of dhikr is what? Just like you take the body of a person, it's a beautiful body, balanced, nice, handsome, and he has a power, energy, but he doesn't have a roh, the soul. Will the body count? Where will you put that body? In the mortuary. In the mortuary. Even there we don't keep it too long. We say, no, bury him in the ground. He's waste now. He's a waste. He will only stay in the mortuary for a few days. And then we'll take him out of there. Where should we take him? To the graveyard and bury him below the earth. Bury him so much that dig a hole so many feet deep. Ah, this is what we are. We're walking around, running, running around tall and broad, enjoying ourselves. All of this is the kamal of what? The ruh, the soul. That if the ruh comes out of the body, then the body is a waste. Bone idol. Doesn't matter how much strength we have, doesn't matter how handsome we look, as a sheikh said, Rahimahullah is stating this. So, all the body, our body, the speciality of the body, giving, taking, is all due to what? Say loudly, the ruh, the soul. So he stated, the Holy Prophet stated, that doesn't matter how many deeds you are implementing, how much you are increasing them, whatever you are doing, but, but, that how will the deeds have life and energy? Due to the ruh, the soul. The dhikr of Allah is the ruh for every action, for every deed. Hazrat Shaykh Sahib stated this. So understand the importance of this. Salah you prayed, but is there a ruh in the salah? Is there a soul? You've performed the hajj. Is there a ruh? A soul in the hajj, without the ruh, we are implementing deeds. And there's no benefit. And how will they arrive to Allah Ta'ala's court if there's no ruh, soul in them? So if we want to elevate our amal, we want to make them high status, if we want to present them in the court of Allah, then what should we become habitual in? Be ready and used to doing the dhikr of Allah. Put dhikr of Allah in parallel with your deeds. Say, subhanallah, subhanallah. But qalbi dhikr, you have to learn from a shaykh, from a teacher. You cannot get this over the counter. You cannot get this over the counter. Why? Because this is a very special select dhikr, alhamdulillah. There are many qualities. This is the highest grade of dhikr. Why? How much difference is there? A hadith is coming to mind. We read this in Fadal Imal that that person who does dhikr from his tongue. That we do, we do dhikr from a tongue, won't we? I did 100, 300. The person who does dhikr from his tongue, and that person who does dhikr in his heart, alhamdulillah, that from the tongue he's named Allah. So when a person does dhikr of Allah from the heart, then the, the thawab increases 70 times fold. How many times over? 
70 times. Subhanallah. And this is become such a dhikr, you remember subhanallah, it becomes so nurani with the light, that when you do dhikr from the depths of your heart, then so much the heart and the body becomes nurani and full of peace and, and satisfaction that the kiram and kathameen, they get tired of writing the deeds. They write everything else, but they can't write dhikr down. Subhanallah. All other deeds are writing. But now that person will be present. Read this hadith, it's afdal. He will be presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Allah's court. And all his deeds, Allah will say, show me your deeds. And the angels say, these are the good deeds, these are the bad deeds, and they'll list it out fully. When the list will finish, Allah will say, show me more. They'll say, there's nothing more. Allah will say, no, there is. Why isn't there any more, you're saying? There is. And they'll say, Allah, you give us a pen to write with. It was such a pen that, that the, the tongue hadn't even moved and we'd start to write. And subhanAllah, if you think about it, that we should do this, we should implement this. Everything is written, it can be written. It will be printed at that time. Yes, if you swear, be printed. If you speak nonsense, print. So many ways the person can have an issue that we should learn to control ourselves. Otherwise, it will all come out. Allah, the strength you gave, the pen, we wrote everything and presented it to you. Allah will say, fine, I'm not blaming you. You didn't have the power or the energy. So the individual used to do such an amal, such a deed. He had such an amal that direct, that subhanAllah, that amal, that directly the amal gave him the opportunity to succeed. He said, Allah, what was the amal that was going direct to you? And we couldn't see this. Then, subhanAllah, it was so much full of light and such a fantastic amal. And you cannot reach there. What is that? That when a person sits down and remembers Allah in his heart, subhanAllah. Allah Ta'ala says, I used to keep him in my side. If you step back today, and Allah Ta'ala says, you will step back. I myself, Allah says, will give him the reward for the dhikr he's done. What do we call this? This is qalbi dhikr. Dhikr of the heart. What is this? You don't learn this from the kitabs. For this, what do we need to do? Go to a sheikh and learn this dhikr. There's no big deal, is there? So shall I tell you? 